We've been looking at, at schemes in Canary Wharf for the last five years. Fortunately for us, One Housing Group secured this opportunity and invited us to become their joint venture partner on it. So we were very pleased uh, to do a repeat deal with One Housing Group. The Central Square scheme where we are today is, was a very successful scheme. It established new price points and also I think new levels of design and quality. So Dollar Bay with its Ian Simpson designed um, architecture is an ideal opportunity for us. The first thing that struck me really was the fact that it was at the end of West India Dock and the site was just fantastic in that when you look back from the site you look at the wide expanse of Canary Wharf and it was like New York really, I mean it was just tremendous. What we wanted to do was have a building that touched the ground quite lightly but was very much influenced by the fact that it was at the edge of a very linear dock. So in a sense, it almost continues the, the notion of the water of the building, but also it was glass so that obviously from the inside you could see out, but from the outside you could actually catch the reflections of both the water and the sky. It's a 32-storey shimmering glass tower and I think one of the major features that will really be of uh, interest to anybody are the fact that winter gardens are to be provided. So it's a space that the living room simply opens up and in the autumn and in the springtime when you wouldn't necessarily sit out into your balcony, that winter garden allows you a protected um, place to, as an extension of the living space and the bedroom spaces. Residents can expect at Dollar Bay to have a mixed use of facilities. Uh, we expect to have a gymnasium, some mixed use retail and commercial, so hopefully a coffee shop. The tower itself will offer all residents a dual aspect, either across uh, the dock going westward into the city or across the Thames and across the O2 Arena, looking eastward uh, into the estuary. Canary Wharf is now an incredibly vibrant place with a 24-7, a seven days a week uh, economy. I think this has been one of Canary Wharf's greatest success stories, that they have created a seven day a week business model where um, you service the business community Monday to Friday but actually um, you can see the, the, the change as you get towards the end of the week with many many more people not wearing a suit coming in for dinner. There's an amazing selection of shopping and restaurants and I've seen it explode in the last sort of ten years and I think that people have realised, particularly with the Olympics, that the centre is moving. We believe that Canary Wharf is now becoming a residential destination in its own right and hence we are attracted uh, to do our scheme down there. The transport links, Crossrail, Jubilee Line, Docklands Light Railway, proximity to the O2. Canary Wharf have been the first of the contractors to complete their station box. It's going to be a fabulous station. So London is getting smaller. Um, and Canary Wharf is exceptionally well connected. We know that they are passionate about creating very special apartments and a building that's going to be part of their legacy effectively. Working with this client, I think we're going to get something very special for London. Mount Anvil is an owner-managed business. Uh, everybody working in the business has a stake in it and that lends itself towards a long-term view. So we relentlessly strive to deliver excellence, do the right thing, and work collaboratively and Dollar Bay is a wonderful opportunity for us to work once again with one housing group to deliver an outstanding scheme in Canary Wharf. This is a one-off for this side and for this particular location looking down the dock and the fact that we've created this rippling glass facade to the west I think will give it a very distinctive profile and I think it'll certainly be something that contributes to London's skyline and will become an icon for the city.